Prepare yourselves, dear listeners, for we're about to embark on a journey. Welcome to Terrifying Tales, your destination for true crime stories. We delve into human nature, uncovering chilling stories. Brace yourselves and get welcome to Terrifying Tales, unveiling three true savage killings. Let the journey begin. Welcome, dear listeners, to a journey into the heart of darkness, where true monsters lurk. This is a place where fear takes form, where the unknown and the unthinkable become reality. It's a place where the shadows aren't just shadows, but entities of dread, where the whispers aren't just the wind, but echoes of unspeakable horrors. We're about to embark on a chilling journey, a deep dive into the realm of night terrors. This is not a world for the faint-hearted. This is a world where the vilest impulses of the human heart break free. Where civility is a mask that falls away, revealing the monstrous face underneath. Our journey takes us into the darkest corners of the human psyche. To a place where nightmares find their corporeal form. We'll be unveiling three true savage killings. Each one more bone-chilling than the last. Each story a testament to the depths of human depravity. To the horrors that can be committed under the cloak of night. Brace yourself, for this is a journey that will shake you to your core. It's a journey that will take you into the abyss of the human soul, where the line between man and monster blurs. It's a journey that will expose the grim underbelly of humanity that seldom sees the light of day. So gather your courage, steel your nerves, and follow us as we delve into this dark abyss. Welcome to Night Terrors, unveiling three true savage killings. When darkness falls, some say, the true monsters come out to play. As the sun rests, the world is shrouded in a black blanket of mystery and fear. It's a time where shadows dance upon walls and hushed whispers rustle through the trees. The eerie silence of the night echoing through the deserted streets becomes a canvas for unimaginable horrors that are born out of the human psyche. A silent symphony of fear that haunts the depths of our being, like a chilling wind that cuts through the soul. In the realm of true crime, there's a fascinating and disturbing phenomenon christened as Night Terrors. Night Terrors form a chilling chapter in the Chronicles of Crime, a dark corner where nightmares find their corporeal form. It's an unsettling time when the vilest impulses of the human heart break free from their shackles, empowered by the obsidian curtain of the night. This phenomenon has a tale to tell. A story woven with threads of violence, cruelty and dread, spun on the loom of darkness. The most horrendous acts of violence are committed not under the burning gaze of the sun, but under the cool, indifferent eyes of the night stars. It is during these hours of darkness that the world bears witness to the true depths of human depravity, where the masks of civility fall away, revealing the monstrous faces underneath. Today we find ourselves on a path that leads into this terrifying realm of darkness. We inaugurate the day by unravelling the enigma of three such savage killings, each one more nerve-wracking than the previous. The narratives of these ghastly incidents, set against the backdrop of the night, are bound to send shivers down your spine as they expose the grim underbelly of humanity that seldom the light of day. We are at the precipice on the brink of revealing the gruesome details that are woven into these tales of horror. We won't unveil all the dreadful details just yet, for the cruel realities of these incidents demand a slow, calculated reveal. The darkness of the night serves as a chilling counterpoint to the gruesome narratives we are about to unravel. It allows a moment of respite from the frenzied daylight world, a breath before the plunge into the abyss. In this journey, prepare yourself to confront the shadows that lurk within the human heart. This is not a journey for the faint-hearted, for the night harbours a cruel reality, a reality that thrives on fear and feeds on the weak. It's a journey that will take you into the heart of darkness, into the abyss of the human soul where the line between man and monster blurs. So gather your courage, steel your nerves, and follow us as we delve into this dark abyss. We are about to embark on a chilling journey that will shake you to your core as we uncover the first of our three night terrors. 
Underneath the deceitful tranquility of the moon's ghostly glow, a dread was preparing to unveil itself. In the apparently harmless settlement, anchored amongst intimidating hills and drenched in the ethereal illumination of the lunar body, an eerie silence embraced the atmosphere. This was a place that seemed like a portrait of serenity, discreetly hidden under the dark veil of nightfall. This unsuspecting town, seemingly devoid of malevolence, served as a sanctuary for innocence, secluded from the turmoil of the outer world. Every corner reverberated with an uncanny calmness, the dwellings clustered together like a brood seeking refuge from the biting chill of a frosty night. As the cloak of darkness draped the town, an unsettling sense of uncertainty shrouded the place, a foreboding presence that refused to fade. The once illuminating moon started to emanate a malicious glow. The shadows cast by the ancient oaks started their ominous dance, narrating tales of unseen terror. The wind weaved through the leaves, murmuring forewarnings of a looming catastrophe. The dead silence of the night was shattered only by the occasional screech of an owl, a sinister signal of the impending horror. Beneath this deceptive tranquility, hidden under the falsely peaceful façade, a monstrous act was ready to unfurl, an evil so colossal, so petrifying, it was enough to freeze your soul. This was not an act nurtured from the routine cruelties of the world, it was something far more nefarious, a deed of unadulterated malevolence. An act so barbaric, so utterly repugnant, it could only spawn from the core of profound darkness. A barbarous slaughter, so ruthless, so horrific, it would curdle the blood in the veins of even the most stony-hearted. The specifics of this horrifying act were too horrific to narrate, too petrifying to whisper. This was not a story to be shared in hushed tones around a campfire. It was a spine-chilling tale that would forever torment the nightmares of who dared utter it. This act of unimaginable terror left an indelible scar on the town, a rip in the fabric of its innocence that could never be sewn back. The town folk, who once lived in blissful ignorance of such malevolence, were now forever marked by this horrific knowledge. A shroud of dread enveloped the town, morphing the once peaceful settlement into a dystopian nightmare. As the inaugural night of hair-raising terror retreated, the town, still trembling from the shock, found on the threshold of another sunrise. But this was not a dawn that arrived with the hope of a fresh day. Instead, it signalled the onset of a new epoch of terror, an era where the night was less of a serene blanket and more of a shroud of terror. As the subsequent night prepared to cast its terrifying darkness, the town steeled itself for another round of dread, another testament to the existence of evil lurking in the most unanticipated corners. The deceptive calm of the moonlight, a dread, was ready to unleash itself anew. Our tale commences in an unassuming town seemingly untouched by evil. As the darkness descended, an unnerving peace took over, shattered solely by the occasional shriek of an owl. It was amidst this misleading calm that a monstrous act took place, a brutal murder so savage it would freeze the blood of even the most hardened. The specifics too horrific to narrate, forever scarred the town. As the first night of terror recedes, the second one begins to cast its dreadful shadow. In the eerie stillness that precedes a tempest, a malevolent design was taking root. In this unnerving silence, a current of impending catastrophe was stirring, a vile conspiracy sprouting in the heart of the darkness. An intricate web of treachery was being spun, the birth of a monstrous strategy, a stratagem as bone-chilling as it was intricate. The silence was but a dreadful illusion, a mirage cloaking the reality of an imminent apocalypse. The plot, a wicked scheme, was gestated in the blackest depths of despair, a realm where terror and doubt reigned supreme. It was a scheme so insidious, so monstrous, that it could only have been born in the deepest, most gruesome corners of a deranged psyche. This was a scheme that had been nourished and cultivated, fed by the festering hatred that thrived in such a bleak place. It was a design that had been meticulously crafted to exploit vulnerabilities, to strike when most unanticipated, to cause unspeakable damage. And now it was on the brink of revealing its horrifying face. The hour of doom was drawing near, the moment when this detestable plan 
would be let loose upon an unsuspecting world. The antagonist, driven by a sinister sense of victory, reveled in this knowledge, his anticipation intensifying with each passing heartbeat. As the clock relentlessly counted down the peaceful hours, each tick a grim reminder of the diminishing time of the catastrophic disaster hurtling towards them. The unsuspecting prey slumbered, blind to the menace that lurked in the shadows. Victim, ignorant of the horrific plot that was about to unfurl, found comfort in the illusion of peace. The serenity was his haven, his refuge from the harsh and brutal world. But what he failed to comprehend was that his sanctuary was under imminent invasion, that this peace was on the brink of destruction. The spectral calm was a treacherous guise, a mask that concealed the true terror. The tranquility was a macabre jest, a paradox that toyed with one's understanding. This calm was not a symbol of peace, but a harbinger of the storm brewing within. The stillness of the air, the hush of the night, all were cunning ploys, designed to lull the prey into a deceptive sense of safety. The tension was tangible, the silence deafening. It hung heavy in the air, a grim reminder of the impending ruin. As the tempest of the second night of horror passed, the aftermath of this vicious plot unveiled itself in all its gruesome splendor. The once tranquil scene was now a discord of mayhem and destruction, a testament to the true sinister nature of the plot. And yet, amidst all this, a new terror began to take form. A fresh dread, more horrifying than the one that had just been unleashed, began to cast its dark shadow over the horizon. And now, we find ourselves on the precipice of confronting the final and most terrifying nightmare of the night. It is said that the darkest hour is just before dawn, and in this final story it couldn't be more true. In the heart of the city a beast was unleashed, committing a crime so savage it would send chills down the spines of even the most hardened. The details, gruesome and chilling, paint a picture of a night terror unimaginable, leaving us in a state of disbelief. As dawn breaks, we leave behind the night terrors, carrying with us the chilling reminder of the monsters that lurk in the dark. That's it for today's terrifying tales. As we step out of the shadows, we'd like to extend our deepest gratitude for joining us on this spine-chilling journey. Your courage and curiosity are what fuel these stories, and we appreciate your company. If you've enjoyed these chilling tales, make sure to subscribe for more. From haunted houses to eerie forests, from the supernatural to the unexplained, we have countless more stories to send shivers down your spine. Did you find these tales intriguing? If so, why not show your appreciation by giving this video a like? Your support helps us bring you more terrifying tales from the dark corners of our world. Finally, we want to hear from you. Do you have your own terrifying tale to share? Perhaps a thought or a theory about the stories we've explored tonight? Leave your thoughts in the comments section. We'll be waiting to read your chilling accounts. Until next time, stay safe and remember, the darkness is always closer than you think. Keep your eyes open, your heart brave, and your mind curious. For in the world of terrifying tales, nothing is as it seems.